when you know your why, you can always find your way. I think I know Kit's why. Kit's why is to intersect into lives to make a positive difference for change. Sometimes it's in a high school. Sometimes it's in a juvenile court. Sometimes it's in a prison. But everybody who needs to find their way out has got to find somebody that knows the way. And Kit knows the way. My name is Marquez Lattimore, and I have been inspired by Park. Mr. Kent is my mentor, and he helped me understand the principle of things that I don't understand. He also helped me understand perspective. Perspective plays a big part in this world that we live in today. Sometimes I feel like I'm right, but if you look at it from a different perspective, you may not so much as be right, but if you look at it in a different perspective, you'll understand where a person is coming from. So I really appreciate him helping me. Park has really just helped me a lot. He came through, um, he came and helped us at DJJ and just helped us understand other things. And then when I got out, I had got connected and understood other stuff that I did not understand. My name is Pastor Tony Loudon. I want to tell you this is one of the great programs that we should have in every juvenile facility, in every high school in the state of Georgia. What Kit is doing and pouring into young men and young women's lives need to be replicated across the state. It's giving people hope, it's giving people a, a destiny, it's allowing young people to know that they can make it, not by just joining a gang, not by running and robbing and, and, and stealing things out in our communities, but being a productive person in our community. I hope that if you see this message today, you figure out how you can get involved. Not just by saying, hey, I want to be a volunteer, but help this program become scalable and stand up across the nation. Thank you so much. My name is Michael Hill, and I'm here to tell you that the POP program helped me in the long run. Uh, I met Mr. Kitt in a DJ Day facility, and he showed me that setting goals in life really can help you. Like, when nobody believes in you, nobody put their attention on you and, and show you that, you know, say you somebody, but really, deep down, you're really special. Everybody got their own purpose, and everybody gonna be somebody one day, and Kitt helped me realize that. Hi, I'm Mayor Tommy Alligood. And I'm so proud of the fact that the city of Ackworth, as well as my wife and I, have been proud partners and supporters of the Power of Peace. Kit Cummings and the Power of Peace is a transformational uh, organization that is out there every single day making a difference in young people's lives. I'm so proud to be a part of Power of Peace. I'm proud of Kit and just pray every day that, that Kit and this organization will be able to be funded in a way to be able to, to out, get out there and change young people's lives. I'm Sharon Mashburn. I work at Cobb County Juvenile Court, and I have had the honor to work with Kit Cummings in the Power Peace Project through our Rising program. Um, I also had the honor and privilege to work on his board and serve as co-chair for a year for the program. Kit has been a strong community partner and has worked on our team the entire time since the Rising program created. He is able to reach these juveniles in the court system and in the school system. It awards them the opportunity to learn leadership skills, and for the ones that are in the court system, it allows them, after successful completion of the program, for their records to be sealed so that they can continue on to be active, strong community leaders as juveniles, and then also give them the foundation to be strong, supportive adults. Shawanda Reynolds Cobb and the Power of Peace program has been a great inspiration for the young people down at Eastman. It's given them an opportunity to one realize that they have a voice and to see that there's something bigger and better and there are others not just the staff not just at DJJ but also individuals in the community that also want to invest in helping them do better and bring resources to them to help empower them so once they leave the facility they're actually prepared to go out and do positive things and so we're just so grateful for all of the work that Kit and the rest of the team with Power of Peace that they've done to help us on the journey with the youth to make a difference. Hi, I'm Justin Pacific. I'm the owner-operator of Pacific Law Group. Uh, I've been working with Kit and Pop since the beginning of our law firm back in late uh, 2017, early 2018. 
Uh, immediately, one of the very first things I wanted to do once we got established was get involved uh, with, with KIT and promote this program. Uh, having daughters uh, going through the public school system and knowing the, the stress and the uh, pressures that the kids really can't escape, uh, even through social media when they come home from school. Uh, having mechanisms and having ways to deal with bullying at school, uh, addressing the folks that are probably the most likely candidates, where the, the leaders of the school, uh, to, to correct the problems before it's ever an issue. Uh, this program is fantastic for it. We're happy to be a, a sponsor. We've been a sponsor ever since the uh, inception of the law firm, and we're gonna continue to do so. Hello, my name is Joyette Holmes. I have the honor of serving as the board chair for the Power of Peace program. The Power of Peace project is one of those that really grabs on your heart when you see the hope that it brings for every lane that it goes into to protect the dream, to restore sometimes the youth that it goes on to serve. And so I'm just grateful to be a part of that because when you listen to the words that come from those that have been impacted and influenced in a positive way, whose hope has been restored. It just, it makes us understand what our purpose is, what our mission is. And that mission is just to fulfill in the resource and the love and the caring, and in that purpose to protect that dream for the youth in our society. My name is Flynn Brody. I'm the Cobb County District Attorney. This is a great program that we've uh, appeared here tonight, um, the POP program, basically helping us reach our young men and women at a very young age in order to make sure that they have a good life. Uh, this is just fantastic. The community support for this program definitely de demonstrates to our children that we really care about them and that a faith-based uh, upbringing is going to be, help them be successful and continue to grow and, and do the things that they hope to do one day. My name is Gary Burke. I'm actually the pastor of the Lakewood Church of Hope down in Atlanta. And, you know, Kid and I have been running together for a long time now. We are personal friends, but more importantly, um, we're compadres in this journey that we've been taking, uh, giving people hope, you know, trying to find ways to say, listen, I'm a part of the example. I've seen things, did things. Um, I'm inmate 505 11019. So I represent possibilities for our young people, for those who are returning, to let them know that anything is actually possible. So I thank you guys so much for supporting. Thank you for what um, everyone is doing out there to support this project. And thank you, more importantly, for being a part of the change that you want to see in the world. So however you do that, whether it's monetarily, whether it's prayers, however you do it, just continue to keep doing it. And I thank you again for your support. Every single person in this room is what this is all about. I know that um, I get a lot of the credit being the face of it, but it's, it's the boots on the ground. Hey everybody, Kit Cummings, president and founder of the Power of Peace Project here at our 12 year anniversary celebration. And tonight, um, I'm, I'm rarely speechless, and I guess I'm not really right now because I'm talking, but inside my, I'm just like, because uh, we worked for this and we looked forward to bringing a community together and really just showcasing what the Power of Peace Project is, but more importantly, what it does and what it produces. The stars of the show were the young people. And so we had kids from our high school programs, from our juvenile court was represented. One of the big highlights was when these kids that were in the program, the juvenile prison program, actually got up there, which is not an easy thing to do in front of a bunch of dignitaries and people and shared what the program did for them. It meant the world to me, but there were moments tonight where there was not a dry eye in the room, so inspiring. But we really wanted to gather community leaders, and really that's what POP's all about, is building community, breaking down walls, and really waking up dreams, and then giving kids, and really tonight everybody was fed, not just with food, but I mean, you know, our hearts are full. And, um, but anyway, to, to see representatives from the juvenile courts, elected officials. We had a strong representation from the Department of Juvenile Justice as well as local law enforcement, um, our school systems, and you know, faith-based community as well as other nonprofits. It was a room that was filled with people not just who care, but have the influence to do some of the things that we need to do. We need partners. We can't get into the places where I want to get to without being 
invited. And we also, tonight, um, it was not pushed as a fundraiser. Tonight was about a showcase that look what is happening in our community and look what our pop partners are helping us do. But we also gave uh, people a chance to give and it was, it was overwhelming. And so I'm already looking forward to doing it again. And really, Dr. King, um, he is, uh, and his foundational principles that I learned following Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and getting to know his family a little bit, um, it's the foundation because I believe it's still the answer. And so we launched 12 years ago on Dr. King's birthday. We come back after 12 years and we celebrate on his birthday. Next year, we're gonna do it again on MLK weekend. That's gonna be when we get together and continue to grow this thing. So partner with us. Uh, go to powerofpeaceproject.com. If, if your heart tells you to give, give. If you want to volunteer, you know, hit us up. But we need you. We thank you. Tonight was a huge success. And, um, and I've got just nothing but gratitude. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Be the change you wish to see in this world. The power of peace.